welcome to episode 8 of Flip It or Keep It. This is going to be a short video, but I only want to talk about one thing today. And is it a teapot or is it a chocolate pot? I have right here, I bought thinking it was a teapot. And I love it, no matter what it is, it's western style, it has one little, little tiny chip on it. Right here, that's it. Then I noticed, it's a little chip right there. I don't know if I did that one or not. I have no idea. I know I didn't do that one. I bought it with the chip in it. I didn't care because it's really clean. The bottom has black marks, but they're kind of cool looking. It's been on the fire or something. So anyway, I bought it thinking it was a teapot. And I found somebody else had it listed for only $40 as a chocolate pot, a large chocolate pot. So I decided... You know, what am I going to list it as? I guess they must know. It must be a large chocolate pot. So I went to list it. I Googled it again right before I listed it. And it ended up being that it is a teapot. Actually, an antique teapot. And more valuable than 40 bucks. It's a Homer Laughlin Historical America Red Scallop Teapot and Lid. And it's worth $119.85 in very good condition. So mine's just a little off in the very good condition. <laughs> and I found this out by going to LTD replacement lids. So they've been in the business for 40 years. So I'm sure they know their stuff. So I decided to do some research on it. Homer Laughlin was born in 1843 and he died in 1913. He was an American businessman and potter who, with his brother Shakespeare, formed the Laughlin Pottery Company in 1871 in Newell, West Virginia. He was born in Little Beaver, Ohio, the son of a miller, merchant, and postmaster. His father's name was Matthew Laughlin. He was Scotch-Irish descent he did Civil War service from 1862 to 1865. And a large part of his service was on detached duty as expert recorder of important military tribunals. And he participated in the engagements around Murfreesboro. Mur Mur in Tennessee. I don't pronounce it, but it's in Tennessee. When he moved to New York, he worked with his brother Shakespeare, Shakespeare Moore Laughlin, as an importer of English earthenware. In 1873, they built a pottery in East Liverpool, Ohio, which they ran as Laughlin Brothers until 1879, when Homer bought out Shakespeare. Laughlin Pottery then became the Homer Laughlin China Company. In 1889, William Edwin Wells joined Homer Laughlin. They worked together for seven years, and shortly after that, Laughlin sold his interest to Wells. So, Laughlin was an intimate friend of President William McKinley. Laughlin was president of the U.S. Potters Association for many years. He was a member of the Republican Club of New York, the California Club, Los Angeles, um, the commander in number 35 of the Algony, Knights Templar, and an honorary life member of the Gervin encampment of Glasgow, Knights Templar of Scotland. The Homer Laughlin China Company moved all operations to Newell, West Virginia in 1907. Operations continue in that location today. So this is an antique. It dates way, way back. It's not a large chocolate pot. If you see this online, it's not a large chocolate pot. It is a, a teapot, very valuable one. So I decided I was gonna do $75 because, um, well, yeah, my eBay customers have to pay for their own shipping. Um, it's not 119 because LTD's pot was better condition than mine. But LTD 
was selling the same thing without the lid for $89. So technically I could charge between 89 and 119. So I put it up for 75. After I did that, I noticed somebody else had it up for $27. What do you do in a case like that? What do you do? I mean, I almost put mine up for that, that amount thinking it was just a $40 chocolate pot. And maybe that eBay customer thinks the same thing, or maybe they just don't care. They don't want their, their teapot. I don't know. But um, I just can't go any lower than that because it, it's definitely a collector's item and I will keep it, definitely. Um, I'm gonna sell this one. <laughs> I just said, I'll keep it, I'm gonna sell it. I'll keep it if nobody buys it, in other words. <laughs> so that's a short video today. Um, I did go to Savers. And bought more pictures. I got another Renoir um, signature on the bottom. Obviously, it can't be him. This, you know, he died years and years ago. It might be his signature on the print, but not on the bottom of this white paper. And I got two conflicting things. Um, it does say 1886 on it. So there's another one on there. 1880. It says 1886 on theirs, and it's worth 200. I don't know. I, I'm gonna might have to bring that to justanswer.com. But that's it for today. I might make another one later. I want to do more research on all my my uh, pictures and everything. But I just wanted to, you know, just let you know. It's um, it's very interesting. Very interesting business. Um, oh, as as soon as I do 100 items, I've listed 100 items. I'm going back to my first item, and I'm gonna be running like sales and just um i don't know gouging the prices down or whatever or taking them off whatever i decide to do on each one of them um you know because when i first started i thought my norman rockwell and my Knowles plates were were you know huge collector items and they are they are but everyone out there selling them i might sell all of them put them all together make them one lot something like that I do have the COAs on quite a few of them, and those I'm not going to just give away. I'd keep those before I would do that. All right, so that's it. Uh, and I want one of my viewers reached out to me the other day and gave me a lot of advice. I, I may not understand half of it, but I do. I did get the um, the message. I, I really need to go on eBay and look at what has sold. I can't do that off my phone. I got to do that on a computer. I have to get access to a computer. My husband uses both of our computers for bills, <laughs> so I will get to it eventually. Um, but I, I appreciate any advice. I appreciate that you like my videos. <laughs> and that's about it. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye. Or tonight. Maybe later tonight.